KDK's excellent weather team, headed up by Ray Petlin, has been recently predicting some great, warm, sunny days throughout the bird. Yeah, of course, it's so cool, but don't get too comfortable because Fan Nation is bringing back the cold momentarily for this next segment. We're heading up to the Great White North to meet a couple of Penn's crazed Canadians. Yeah, and they've raised their black and gold banner up there as a beacon for all 412 followers to join them in their fantastic fan cave. You can ask anybody, I'm sure, down where the super fan lives and they can tell you. Frank Woodfine and Kim Howlett are undoubtedly the biggest 412 fanatics in St. John's, Canada. I don't know, it's just our whole lives seem to be uh, revolved around the Penguin schedule. We had our 25th anniversary and where did we go? We went to Pittsburgh. But their anniversary isn't the only thing they take to the next level. It started in the windows of the house with Go Pens Go, and then it, it just evolved into the wooden sign of Let's Go Pens. And then when they won the back-to-back -back champs championship. I cut up all the Stanley Cups, painted them silver, and put them on my lawn with the word champs on it. Like a stop on Route 66. The display has become a must visit for Penn fans traveling through St. John's. People will come stop, take pictures. It's just, a, it's crazy how you would meet people just by like this, doing something like that. Frank and Kim have met Penn fans from all around the world this way, including a couple of extra special guests. I didn't know who was coming in this person. Knocked on the door, I'm Cindy Cosby's uncle. It was amazing. Sid was on the other line talking to them, and he was showing them pictures of my room. When they see the Let's Go Pens, and then Frank will invite them into the man cave, and they don't even realize that outside is also inside. Well, they're just overwhelmed. They're like, oh my god. I would say 10,000 items from a hockey card right to a jersey. You never think that this exists here, you know? and that you have such big fans of Pittsburgh here in Newfoundland. It's an awesome cave and a great display, but it's also more than that. It's the meaningful connections made with other fans, including with Pittsburgh's Karen and Shane, whose quick stop turned into a lifelong friendship. They came here, experienced like our Newfoundland, then we go to Pittsburgh and they took us to uh, Permanti's and uh, Incline. Besides the penguins and our love for the penguins, it's the friendships that we're after. Frank and Kim make it to Pittsburgh whenever they can, meeting Lemieux, Crosby, and picking up as much memorabilia as their suitcases can hold. When I'm in Pittsburgh, Kim can tell me I'm a totally different person. I'm up dancing for the Dilly Bar. I'm up dancing every in between intermissions. I, I'm pretty laid back and reserved here. That's no wonder, being a super fan in St. John's can get lonely. Here, you, you know, you're not seeing as many Penguin fans sporting their gears and their, mem you know, their hats and their, their jerseys and that. But when you go to Pittsburgh, it's all Steelers, it's Penguins, it's Pirates. Just something comes over you. It's like a, you're so welcomed. You feel so safe. You feel like, this feels like you're home. Coming up, this 412 fanatic designs Steel City sneakers and Pittsburgh paintings for athletes and yinzers alike. Next on Fan Nation, presented by JP Roofing.